remember when you said it doesn't get better than this. Only a fool to let you go. You got into my head. Am I about to lose myself? When will all of this fade away? 'Cause I see colors for the first time. I'm starting to realize nothing's ever black and white. And I'm caught up in the first night. Now it doesn't feel right. I just have to say goodbye. Aston Martin admits it will struggle without a Mercedes engine deal. Mercedes is more than just a technical partner for Aston Martin Lagonda, as the three-pointed star is also an important shareholder. Mercedes has expressed a desire to increase its shareholding to 20% by the end of 2023. In an interview with Autocar, the chief technical officer at Gaiden said that the collaboration between the two brands will continue in the coming years. Roberto Fedeli provides an honest answer when the tricky Euro 7 topic comes up. Looking for the next challenge with ICE, Euro 7, emission regulations, without Mercedes we could be in trouble. At the same time, Mercedes is not only a machine for us, but also the basic electrical architecture. We are doing the integration of new components into the architecture base Mercedes, for DB12. As a refresher, Aston Martin will be saying goodbye to its V12 engine sometime in 2026 due to tougher emissions regulations. Last year, then CEO Tobias Mowers showed signs on the wall for the 12-cylinder engine, which stated that a new V12 would not be developed. Instead, existing units will be updated to comply with regulations up to a certain point. After that, he will be retired. Aston Martin had been working on its own V6 engine for the reborn Vanquish, but the mid-engine supercar has since been discontinued. Only a fool to let you go. You got into my head. Am I about to lose myself? When will all of this fade away? 'Cause I see colors for the first time. I'm starting to read. This was disclosed earlier this year by Chairman Lawrence Stroll at the Financial Times Future of the Car meeting in London. Prior to scrapping the Ferrari 296 GTB competitor, the engineering team had switched from an internal V6 engine to an AMG V8 engine. Deliveries of the Valhalla will start next year, with several ICE models also on the way, including the DB12 Volante, which will follow this stunning coupe. It was clear in early testing that the new Vantage isn't going to fall behind. Regarding the first electric car, Stroll recently said that we will know more about it on June 27. So I just had to write this song. I don't wanna see you cry again. And no matter how the story ends. CTO Roberto Fedeli said that future models would benefit from lessons learned from Formula One, adding that Fernando Alonso was one of the few F1 drivers who has an interest in road car ability as well. 
The DBX SUV will continue to be produced at the St. Athan factory in Wales, while the front and mid-engined models will be assembled in-house in Gaydon. The location of the latter may expand in the coming years to accommodate the arrival of electric cars, according to Stroll's chairman.